Welcome to this video, El Phenomeno. El Phenomeno from the UK. No, I never played that guy before. Okay, let's see. Classical King's Indian, probably. Yeah, he got that one. Yeah, knight bd7, that's a pretty old line. <clears throat> but it's not that bad. Rook e8, yeah, that's an interesting way to play that. Now, um, black normally goes knight h5, I believe. Knight h5, g3, bishop f6 or something like that. Yeah, yeah it's kind of weird, but but not that bad. <clears throat> okay. Hmm. Yeah. Well, bishop g5 is not clear that it is said that great, but still, if I can prevent it, I probably should do it. Okay, just f3. Not totally clear on that. He didn't threaten much, maybe to take knight f5. But okay, this looks that looks okay. He cannot easily play f4. No, that's that's a that's an okay position. White always has the space, and that's not going to change anytime soon. Okay, so he basically says, if I take here, it's not a big deal. Hmm. Yeah, okay, allowing f4 is not a great idea. I wonder, <coughs> sorry, I wonder if in this position, how important the dark squared bishop really is. Or if I should just go knight e4. Yeah, let's do that. Normally it's kind of um, almost a knee-jerk reaction to preserve the bishop here, the dark squared bishop on the white side of the king's Indian. I'm not sure here. His bishop is really not doing much. And maybe the light squared control here is actually more important. The bishop on f2 is blocking a possible knight to f2, so aha, very that's a very creative way to play it. Interesting, okay. Yeah, I mean, I don't really see why I shouldn't take it. Yeah, yeah, it was kind of clear, but is it really, is it really that? that much of an issue. I can, hmm. Uh, no, that's okay. Covering g4 and intending to take a knight e4. What I have absolutely have to prevent is some kind of bishop coming to d4 or this kind of thing. Here's some um, dark squared bishop invading my, my camp. This, this has to be prevented at almost all costs. So I'm just doubling now on the F file, right? Keep it simple. I mean, white is pretty much a pawn up for no particular compensation. I, at least I don't see any. Okay can just take there or, or improve the position a little bit. Mm. Yeah, I see no direct benefit from taking. I can play other things. And I can even play h4, <clears throat> h4, g5, push, yeah. push forward. Yeah, that was to be, that was expected. I was just thinking, or well, expected is wrong. I mean, I, I thought yeah. about that, but I, th I thought that I can just take a7 now, actually. Why not? I mean, I have got everything covered here. 
bishop coming to h6 but that's not that's not that much of a deal anymore now with all the pieces traded so why shouldn't i take the queen side here the, the a7 pawn yeah so we had had to play a passive defense okay nothing wrong with h3 so let's say he takes everything there and at the end i play i start with queen f2 where we take everything then queen f3 queen g6 g4 yeah that's that's okay it's total control don't need don't need anything anything more Yeah, I had this position in mind. Here, he has no, yeah, no way really to to muddy the waters. Yeah, here I have g4 and then queen h3, queen f5, this kind of thing. Queen trade is basically the same as um, as a win. Queen f5 or what is the right one? Queen f5, if he goes queen h6, I have knight g5. Yo, that should be enough. Yeah, okay. Or is there... I can also give the check here for knight e6. Oh, that's, that's also a win. Okay. Check. It's probably the... Check. The cleanest one with the, with the total trade of everything <laughs> to the king and pawn endgame. Um, or can I win the bishop maybe with g5? g5, queen g6, knight d8, check. Hmm, yo. Time warning. Why not? Yeah, I'm just, just taking everything on g7 is was a winning king and pawn in game check but winning the queen is also quite okay <clears throat> yeah i think that this Black g this, this g4 pawn sacrifice wasn't really working i think yeah an interesting moment was when he went g5 and um, yeah, I don't know. I took on f5, basically intending to give up the dark squared bishop. But here there are many options. This is also possible, of course. I didn't, I, I wasn't so sure about this kind of thing. I mean, okay, my, my pieces are all right for the queen side, but what about bishop h3 business and things like that? Um, the computer is actually very, very convinced that that should be almost winning for white. Hmm. Hmm. In King's Indian structures, I'm a bit skeptical, but I admit that it looks very nice. I mean, I have gotten, I don't know how many tempi here. <laughs> but okay, I, I rather, that's my decision. Just get a clear structure. Yeah, giving up the dark squared bishop, as mentioned, is always a little bit of a risky business as the dark squares are potentially weak now. Yeah, a piece on d4. Uh, okay, well, a bishop here would win the queen, but I mean, in general, uh, some piece appearing on the dark squares, but it's not so easy. Maybe the computer wants to go c6, giving white a slight edge. This is kind of what I expected. But I think this just gives it away. I mean, it's just a pawn, really. And we trade, begin to trade things on the F file. So there is absolutely, um, 
absolutely no compensation, I think. Jim. Check. Check. Yeah, and TM, okay, I don't need to return this pawn, but this is a very simple solution. We we get this off queen f3, g4, and, and that's it. I get to f5, possibly knight g5, or the queen trade, and the queen trade is the same as, as, as resigning, actually. Yeah, so this was a pretty clean win, I believe. He, um, yeah, he simply cannot play this g4 move. If he plays, um, if we just go back... Here. He has to play something like that. I mean, it kind of doesn't fit together, right? I mean, why do you play g5 when, when you play c6 later? I mean, it kind of doesn't add up this story, but something like that he probably has to try. Okay, well, thanks for watching.